In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to add ailerons to your wings. Uh, and then we're going to uh, cut out, put in the servos, and then cover the wing. Uh, the first thing you want to do is um, the wing comes with uh, plastic pieces, and this is where the rubber bands go over the um, over the top of the wing, and that gives it strength. The first thing you want to do is you want to take these off because you can't cover them. Uh, the heat from the iron will uh, melt and deform them, and the uh, even if you were to go around them uh, with the covering, it doesn't seem to uh, cover it very well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove these, and it's just as simple as uh, taking a uh, uh, your number 11 knife and gently cutting up in there, and you'll have to work around and get in all the pieces and just take your time and it will come off. There's just a little bit of glue holding it on there. Sometimes they just pop off. Other times it takes a little bit of work but you don't really want to yank on it. You could break the plastic or worse yet rip out a huge chunk of foam. The, uh, the back piece, the trailing edge of the wing is where you have to be most critical. This is a uh, very thin foam and it, you can easily rip it out. So once you get those off clean them up, set them aside, and the next thing we'll do is uh, make the cuts for the ailerons. There's a couple things uh, when you cut ailerons out. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a brand new sharp blade, number 11, in your X-Acto knife. This is critical. Uh, the foam will dull the blades very quickly. You definitely have to have a sharp blade. Second thing is, is I uh, I make my ailerons 12 inches long. I don't go into where the wing tip curves. I start the aileron right where it flattens out and uh, measure out 12 inches. And then the other thing I do is uh, I make my ailerons 1.75 inches uh, wide, deep. Uh, the reason for this is. is uh, this wing has a um, two strut mounts for the uh, the wing struts, and the holes are mounted here and here. And there's little slits in the foam uh, here and here uh, that the buttons get pushed through, and then that's where you attach the uh, wing struts underneath the wing. The first wing I did, uh, I made the ailerons two inches wide. And what I found is, is it came right up next to where that slit was for the uh, wing strap mount. So uh, I made, I now make them 1.75 or one and three quarter inches uh, wide, and that gives uh, that area right there enough room for that button. And it, um, there's enough foam there so it doesn't stress it out. So uh, make sure you measure your depth before you. Um, cut your uh, aileron out to make sure that you're not interfering with this little slit right here. Next thing you want to do after you get everything measured out is make your cuts. Um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. One, there's a couple tricks though. One thing is, is the bottom of the wing is flat, top of the wing is curved. When you go to make a cut in your wing for the aileron, make sure you have your X-Acto knife up and down, uh, perfectly uh, vertical with the surface. You don't want to cut at the angle of the wing because the bottom of the wing is flat. So you want to cut straight up and down. Start, you know, at the top. Work your way across. You'll probably have to make two or three passes. Keep it as straight and level as possible. Once you get that cut, then you come in and cut out your side pieces. Make sure to put a little uh, marking for right and left. If you uh, have these measured out exactly, um, then they're easily you can easily get them mixed up. So go ahead and we'll cut these out and uh, show you the next step. Okay, we have the first uh, aileron cut out, and uh, this foam cuts very easily. And uh, if you don't take your time, it, it's really easy to get jagged edges. So uh, use your straight edge that you had taped across the top there and follow that line. And then I just use a speed square 
to cut the side ones. Uh, that way they're as clean and straight as possible. Next thing is we'll cut out the other side and then we'll go back and we'll bevel the insides of the uh, aileron so that way when uh, the aileron moves uh, up and down there's room for it uh, to move within the wing. But just take your time. The foam cuts very easily and uh, this these ailerons are 12 inches long by an inch and three quarters deep and I start where the wing just curves around and uh, another thing you can do is you can measure from the uh, from where the plastic starts where the little indention in the foam is and I think when I measured mine it was um, it is four and seven eighths to this point from where the plastic rests to where I start the aileron and then it's 12 inches out from there. Let's go ahead and show you how we cut this out. I went ahead and cut my end pieces first. Got my straight edge along the top there and we will simply just drive the uh, Zacto knife down into the foam starting in that corner and you'll probably need to make at least two passes. Keep your blade tight against your straight edge. Angle it a little bit and draw across. Take your time. If you screw this up, there's, uh, there's no way of fixing it without really buying a new wing. And uh, even though these wings are cheap, at twenty dollars a wing um, it, it's not worth it for an aileron now I know local hobby stores sell uh, wooden ailerons but these are awfully thick uh, at their leading edge uh, it's it's really thick I, I doubt if you could find any balsa wood ailerons that uh, would match this so we'll continue cutting this out and uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll uh, mark and cut out for the servos next thing you want to do is you want to cut angles in the back or in the leading edge of your uh, of your aileron close to 45 degrees first thing I did was I marked the center drew a line that just gives me a reference point as to when I cut I don't want to cut through to the other side on that and you just want to cut 45 degree angles because when you uh, when you work the aileron when it's flat uh, it'll hit so you want to cut uh, you know 33 to 45 degree angles is probably fine um, you know I I only I have my aileron set up to move about uh, 10 millimeters which isn't very much so you know I find 33 to 40 degree cuts is uh, more than enough so go ahead and all I do is I just use a, a straight edge this gives me my uh, my reference point for my blade and it's just as simple as lining the bottom of the blade up on the uh, on the line and using the straight edge across the top and you just draw across and that seems to get me a fairly nice and straight cut Make sure you, you keep consistent with your cut. And there it is. You're done. It just slides out. And if you can see, there's our first cut. And then we'll do the same thing across the other side. 